What's up everybody, welcome to another video. My name is Tom and today I wanna to talk about title design again because one of my older videos, which I uploaded, I guess almost half a year ago, recently got a lot of views. I guess when this video is out, will be probably around 50,000 views, which is really a lot for me. So I thought, well, maybe it's time for another tutorial on title design. So today I'm gonna show you three more cinematic title designs in Adobe After Effects, but actually not this one. And I actually wanna make this real quick, so let's get into this. And the first title design I wanna show to you is heavily inspired by the Gun Girl motion picture, which is, in my opinion, a really good movie and I really love the overall production design. So I always wanted to create something similar and now I want to show to you how you can do this effect on your own. So when we have our text in here, the first thing we want to do is we want to add a fade in and fade out. And therefore we just keyframe the opacity. This is nothing special. Then just add some easy ease to this to make the whole animation a little bit more natural and you're good to go for now. For the gradient, all we have to do is to go to the effects tab, type in gradient ramp and drag this onto our text. Then zoom out to have a little bit more of an overview about everything. Choose the colors you want to use and for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna use some colors similar to the gun girl design. So choose your start and your end color. Then track the end color to the right and the start color far out to the left so that the gradient is really soft in the end. Then all we have to do is we have to keyframe our end of ramp. So go a little bit into your sequence timeline and set the first keyframe then go a little bit further, drag the end of ramp gradient point from the far right somewhat to the left. Then of course we want to add some easy ease to it, make the preview window fit again and here you can see what we actually created. So this is just some basic technique. You can of course modify this to your taste and make it all a little bit more faster, change the colors. It's really up to you but the technique is really easy but really effective and I think it looks really interesting. So the next design I want to show you is something I call the letter Blurred. And this is also really easy. We just want to select the drop down menu from our text layer, want to go on animate and opacity, then add another property and add a blur. There we want to type in an amount of 40, but you can go with any amount you want. Then choose the drop down menu of the range selector, keyframe your offset, start with minus 100%, go a little bit further down your timeline and type in 100%, and at the end of the sequence to fade out the text again, do the same thing just in reverse. Then as for the shape we wanna use, ramp up, turn the opacity property down to 0% and here we go. Let's just now add another easy ease so all of this looks a little bit more natural. Now to make all of this a little bit more interesting, let's just add a tracking animator. Set the first keyframe to zero and the second keyframe at the end of the sequence to something like 10. And this slowly increases the letter spacing throughout the sequence. And this gives a little bit more motion to the whole thing. Now we can modify this a little bit more to make it look even more like some kind of Disney title sequence, but in the end it's totally up to you and these are just some basic techniques. And for the last title design again we want to add an opacity property. Set the first offset keyframe to minus 100 and the second to 100 again. Again select ramp up as the shape. And here we have some kind of swipe fade in, which is really basic, but really interesting. Now we could fade the text out again within the same animator, but this would just kind of take back the swipe in the same direction where it started. And to me, this doesn't look really good. So I want the text to swipe out to the right. And for that, all we have to do is add another opacity animator. Again, turn down the opacity to zero. This time we want to use ramp down. Set the start offset to minus 100 and the end offset to 100. Add an easy ease to make all of this more natural and here you see how it now looks. And in my opinion, this looks much better. Again, we wanna add some tracking to this to add a little bit more motion. Make sure if you want to add tracking after using some other animators already on your text that your upper text layer is selected when you add the tracking 
because otherwise it will kind of add the tracking to the other animators and this will mess up all your settings. You don't want this. Just select your upper text layer and then add the tracking animator. So guys, as you can see, these were just three really basic techniques for your text animations, which you can combine, use on their own and you can do a lot of stuff with that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more filmmaking related videos like this. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.